the stuff I work on, I, I work hard to capture the tone of the instruments, the intent of the artist, and to print a sense of the space that the music is happening in. And the Burl gear just does a lot to represent that. Um, you can hear into the recording, into the size of the room, the materials of the walls, the wood of the instruments, um, the fine moves that the artist, the guitarists, drummers make just shines through the burls. And you have to fight to get some sense of that through some other equipment we use. And to me, as a producer, engineer, and listener, if I don't have to fight, if that's just apparent, I'm a happy person, and the burl brings that to me. As a studio owner, my clients are often the producer or the engineer that hires me. And of course, the artist is also a client. Everyone noticed it when they showed up. But they sit in the chair and listen to playback, and they're like, what's going on here? This sounds so good. It was mentioned almost every day, every production. People are like, man, I love what you brought to this place. Thank you for having those. I'm going to come back and book more time here because... You know, there's no other, at that point, there was no other studio in town that had the burls. So people were lining up at a vast to come and, come and use it. My name is Stephen Hogan. I am Macklemore and Ryan Lewis's engineer. And we have a burl mothership as well as uh, one of the ADCs. And use them all the time. They sound great. On the mix side of things, we use the uh, mothership as well as for our converters and run it through various summing mixers and uh, just the clarity coming out of the converters uh, compared to other things that are out on the market, it's like night and day difference between the Burl converters and other things. <laughs> I'm Joe Reinecke. I own Orbit Audio in Seattle. I actually own a, a mothership, and we have one at Orbit Audio, and um, all my mixes are all mothership that, that happen there. There's something special about it, and it's really hard to put into words other than, like, it feels better, you know? And really, when my job is complete, when someone goes, they hear the record, they go, this feels good then my job's complete. My name is Lisa Battersby, AKA DJ Callisti. I was incredibly impressed. I Right now I am working with prosumer stuff and um, this that makes my prosumer stuff um, look crippled, <laughs> sound crippled. Uh, in comparison, it had a nice deep, deep tone that was well rounded on the bottom and and really, really clear, crisp differentiation in the mid ranges and the mid tones so um, a, a, a beautiful sound all around that I wish I could have. <laughs> Uh, oh, the singer, that's right, the vocals, which are really most important to me because I'm a vocalist. The singer just downright sounded like he was on a cheap microphone <laughs> on HDIO and sounded like he was on a Neumann on the, uh, uh, um, the Burl. So that to me was one of the, the convincers where it's like if you can get that kind of difference in a mid-range, that really says something. Mm -hmm.